Hey guys, Rascal here. Today I'm doing something a little differently. Originally I wanted to do a sort of review of the 2016 Pop of Girls reboot because we know now it's officially over. There's no more episodes. It got canceled. It should have gotten canceled after episode one, but I digress. Um, but I think I wanted to co cover something a little more recent. Um, as you probably have heard that the Powerpuff Girls is getting a live action reboot on the CW. And, you know, you think that you had the 2016 one and that was enough already for you to not watch any more else from this franchise. But no, they said, we can, we can do worse. We can do worse than that. And, you know, it was announced, announced like last year, I think, I believe last year. And then suddenly there was news in the start of summer. And, you know, no one really cared about that because after they heard the words live action, reboot, that's automatically a, a no. Because very, very rarely can a live action remake of a franchise or a show or a game or something can be really successful. And for Pop of Girls, it kind of was doomed from the very beginning you heard the original synopsis. Now, the reason why this is such a big deal is because when you read the synops synopsis, it's not fun in the slightest. First of all, they're not kids or kindergartners anymore. They're adults. They're just adults. They're in their 20s, which you kind of first think that, oh, so this is taking place like somewhere in the future. Uh, this is like what happened after the Powerpuff Girls were done fighting crime as kids. Maybe they got to their adult years and started having normal lives on the side with superhero workers. Like, okay, it sounds really just off, but it could be good. But then you get further in and the plot just gets infinitely worse. Like, they mention the fact that in this version, the Powerpuff Girls are angry because they didn't get to have normal childhoods. Because they were so busy fighting crime all the time. And so they resent the fact that they were superheroes. What? Yeah, uh, that was never in the original. They got to actually have pretty normal lives. They were fully aware of their powers and were fine with being superheroes. Every once in a while they may have to fight crime because they couldn't play with somebody. But it was like like a few episodes in there and we're like really far apart it was just something like oh darn i wanted to play but i gotta go save the city from a monster because the mayor called it was something really simple it was like yeah every now and then they would feel like that but it was never something that they were bitter about and i get you know they didn't really grow up in the original series they say kids the whole run but they never really had that thing where they regret being superheroes heck they had a whole episode where they were normal and it was like an alternate universe, and they were so bland and normal, it was just kind of like, what was the point of the whole episode? So back to the live action one, I'm not really excited for it, because reading the synopsis, it sounds completely out of character for the Powerpuff Girls. Then you read that all the characters look immensely different from the original cartoon, which we knew what they were going to do because of CW. And then there was the infamous uh, script leak that was all over the internet back in June. Someone had leaked a, a working title script for the show about like the pilot episode and showed all the dialogue and actions of the characters. And I cannot really repeat any of it because YouTube will demonetize me if I do it. That's how bad it is. All, every line of dialogue, every action is basically NSFW. I, you would have to just listen listen to other people's videos or find the script yourself if someone actually has a picture of it left and look or listen to it because, uh, yeah, I can't even repeat any of it, but all of it was just really R-rated. R-rated or X-rated. And yes, this is this is this is pretty this is not what anybody thought of with Powerpuff Girls, even if they did grow up. This is kind of an insult to everybody who watched the original show, but again, I'm not really that surprised. I'm just kind of surprised on how really messed up it got. I mean, CW is known for doing dark, gritty reboots of shows and comics and things. I mean, look at the DC lineup. This is why I'm down to just watching The Flash and Superman and Lois. Superman and Lois started off actually lighthearted, and then it got dark after one episode, so they really didn't change too much. But this is why a lot of people are dropping CW. This is why I'm ready to drop CW. Aside from, I think I watched less than five shows. I think in the most three. 
I only watch Walker because uh, my mom likes the uh, Jared Padalecki, but even she's getting kind of tired of the show because it's following the same path as CW. None of their shows are really that creative. They kind of follow a, a uh, formula and then just like a platform to every single show. And it doesn't matter what the genre is, doesn't matter what the setting, doesn't matter what, just it's always the same. It's always just drama. So, of course, I expect the Power Girls to have drama because it's on the CW, but I didn't expect it to get so vulgar and X-rated. I mean, it was like almost worse than Riverdale. And I say almost because Riverdale had a bit, it had a bit of a, it held back a little bit on some things. Like, yeah, it was, it had some things that were not at all like Archie or like, you know, from the comics, but there were some lines they just did not say. It started just being so ridiculous, it was hilarious. But uh, Powerpuff Girls, it, at least originally, isn't wasn't planning to hold back. I mean, the woman that wrote this, uh, yeah, she should not be working on this show, like, at all, ever. I, I hope they got rid of her or something, because this, this would probably get CW into a lot of trouble. <laughs> so, my thoughts on after reading it is just, I'm not excited for it at all. I mean, why do we, why do we have this... We have the original series and a movie. We have, what, six seasons, six or seven seasons and a movie. We'll just watch that. 2016 reboot was just bad. I mean, it wasn't as horrendous as you thought it was going to be, but it was pretty bad in its own way with its messages and tropes and trying to modernize it and make it more PC because literally nothing they did was offensive. But with this one, this is sure to offend everybody, no matter who it is who they are, what age, what nationality, whatever, it, 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 it's going to offend a lot of people. And hearing the power of girls going from the cutesy, tough, crime-fighting little girls to X-rated, X-rated, R-rated level people is just really bad. Plus, the, the professor's in there, but they didn't cast anyone who looks like him. There's no word if the original voice actors make appearances in there. And... They, I don't know about the villains. They mentioned Mojo Jojo, but he's not in it. It's his son. Yeah, somehow Mojo Jojo had a, has a son. I don't know how on earth they're pulling this off. I don't know if it's going to be a CGI monkey or will the monkey evolve into a human. I know this sounds really just out there. It sounds like I'm rambling with this, but no. CW does weird stuff like this where if they don't want to animate an animal or a creature or something and they don't want to spend the money on it and they're keeping their budget, they just say it's a human and then call it something else by adding a little bit of fur or scales or some context on them and say, oh, this is a monster, this is an alien, this is someone so and they're in disguise or something. And I guess I know Supernatural did this, but it was creative in the way they did it. They did it with a little bit of limitation, but they made it work with a strong story every episode. Here, for Pop of Girls, I don't see how they're going to do this. Because I just have this worst feeling that it's not going to be a monkey, it's going to be human with a bunch of hair on him. But one of them's probably going to date him, because in the CW, you can date just about anything. Animal, monster, alien, a creature, whatever. The, 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 the CW likes to be, like, people to be with everybody. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, this is a little bit unusual from what I originally planned. I was, like, I was going to plan on roasting the 2016 reboot, but I think there are plenty of videos on that enough already. So I wanted to cover something a little new, and before the show even comes on, if it comes on, because I think this probably was so bad, they might just change their mind and say, you know what, we're not doing this this year, we'll wait till another time, or just cancel it together, because I think that'd be their best option, because they just have, like, the worst track record when it comes to adaptations, and I guess I can see why people don't want to watch the network anymore, I'm almost, I'm pretty much ready to quit the network after this season of The Flash, because it's just, it's just not good, it's not good, and Pop of Girls, I, I, I don't see it going well at all. I mean, they dodged a bullet with with not doing a live-action Young Justice because that was originally a planned series for the CW. If Young Justice continued, it would focus on Ms. Martian and Superboy in live-action instead of following the path of the animated show. So I'm kind of glad we didn't get that and we finally got the third season of Young Justice that we demanded for all these years. So, um, yeah, those are my thoughts on the Pop of Girls live-action reboot. Um, I, like I said, I don't think it's going to do well. You guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you actually think that the synopsis is different enough to actually gain some traction on its own? Could it actually be 
uh, interesting for them to do something different or do you kind of think by a lot of other people that it just should never happen and it just doesn't sound like the power of girls because uh, i feel really bad for craig mccracken that he no longer has the rights to his own creation and they are just like running his project his his show into the ground now and it's kind of sad so uh yeah uh let me know what you guys think in the comments below and i'll see you guys next time later